Instagram.
Good afternoon and welcome to this afternoon's Divine Mercy Sunday Mass. Her opening hymn is in the Green Book, the Catholic Book of Worship, 392, that Easter day with joy was bright, 392 in the Green Book. Of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Pan Zvami. Welcome all of you gathered here. Today you have to forgive me because I will be balancing Polish English. I don't want to be killed by Polish and I don't want to be killed by English. <laughs> That's the reason we are together. Please forgive me. We are doing our best together. <laughs> we take Korea next time. And, uh, and just, yeah, we, you know, just the idea we are one parish and we are serving God the best as we can. That's the reason I'm very happy with you. Today, it's a special day, divine Mercy Sunday. The church is beautiful only when he is merciful. Bracia i siostry Polacy, gromadzimy się w naszym kościele w niedzielę Bożego Miłosierdzia. Ta iskra wyszła z Polski, ale to nie jest polska iskra. To jest iskra kościoła katolickiego, powszechnego. Dlatego jesteśmy razem i dlatego próbujemy modlić się, nie próbujemy, ale modlimy się razem jako jedna wspólnota parafialna tutaj e, w Kościele Najświętszego Serca Pana Jezusa. Dzisiejszą mszę świętą sprawuję za wszystkich dobrodziejów naszego Kościoła. Dobrodziej mi znaczy każdy, kto pomaga. Wszyscy jesteście dobrodziejami naszego Kościoła. Za was wszystkich sprawuję tę ofiarę dzisiejszej niedzieli. Brothers and sisters, today I'm going to offer this mass for all benefactors. You are benefactors. All of you who are giving how much as you can, your work, your support, your money, and your prayers. May God support you. And may God, through the chaplet of divine mercy and through his mercy, be always with you. At the beginning of the Mass, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Spowiadam się Bogu Wszechmogącemu i wam, bracia i siostry, że bardzo zgrzeszyłem myślą, mową, uczynkiem i zaniedbaniem. Moja wina, moja wina, moja bardzo wielka wina. Przeto błagam Najświętszą Marię zawsze dziewicę, wszystkich aniołów i świętych i was, bracia i siostry, o modlitwę za mnie do Pana Boga naszego. May Almighty God 
have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth to the people of good We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord Lamb of God, of God Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world and mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. pray. God of everlasting mercy, who in the very recurrence of the Paschal Feast kindled the faith of the people you have made your own, increase we pray the grace you have bestowed, that all may grasp and rightly understand in what font they have been washed, by whose spirit they have been reborn, by whose blood they have been redeemed. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated for the word of God. Today, the first reading will be in English, the second reading will be in Polish. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The whole group of those who believed were of one heart and soul, and no one claimed private ownership of any possessions, but everything they owned was held in common. With great power, the apostles gave their testimony to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus, and great grace was upon them all. There was not a needy person among them, for as many as owned lands or houses sold them and brought the proceeds of what was sold. They laid it at the apostles' feet, and it was distributed to each as any had need. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His steadfast love endures forever. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His steadfast love endures forever. Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. His steadfast love endures forever. Let Israel say, His steadfast love endures forever. Let the house of Aaron say, His steadfast love endures forever. Let those who fear the Lord say, His steadfast love endures forever. Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. His steadfast love endures forever. The light hand of the Lord is exalted. The light hand of the Lord does valiantly. I shall not die, but I shall live and become the deeds of the Lord. The Lord has punished me severely, but he did not give me over to death. Give thanks to the Lord for he Builders rejected has become the chief cornerstone. This is a lost doing, it is marvelous in our eyes. This is a day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. Czytanie z pierwszego listu, listu świętego Jana Apostoła. Najmilsi, każdy kto wierzy, że Jezus jest Mesjaszem, z Boga się narodził i każdy miłujący tego, który dał życie, miłuje również tego, który życie od Niego otrzymał. Po tym poznajemy, że miłujemy dzieci Boże, gdy miłujemy Boga i wypełniamy Jego przekazania. Albowiem miłość względem Boga polega na spełnieniu Jego przykazań, a przykazania Jego nie są ciężkie. Wszystko bowiem, co z Boga zrodzone, zwycięża świat. Tym właśnie zwycięstwem, które zwyciężyło świat, jest nasza wiara. A kto zwycięża świat, jeśli nie ten, kto wierzy, że Jezus jest Synem Bożym? Jezus Chrystus jest tym, który przyszedł przez wodę i krew i ducha, nie tylko w wodzie, lecz w wodzie i we krwi. Duch daje świadectwo, bo duch jest prawdą. Oto Słowo Boże. Bogu niech będą dzięki. Alleluja, 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 Alleluja. You believe, Thomas, because you have seen me. 
Blessed are those who have not seen and yet believe. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you. It was evening. On the day Jesus rose from the dead, the first day of the week. And the doors of the house where the disciples had met were locked for fear of the Jews. Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. After he said this, he showed them his hands and his side. Then the disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. When he had said this, he breathed it on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive the sins of any, they are forgiven them. If you retain the sins of any, they are retained. But Thomas, who was called the twin, one of the twelve, was not with them when Jesus came. So the other disciples told him, We have seen the Lord. But he said to them, Unless I see the mark of the nails in his hands, and put my finger in the mark of the nails, and my hand in his side, I will not believe. After eight days, his disciples were again in the house, and Thomas was with them. Although the doors were shut, Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here and see my hands. Reach out your hand and put it in my side. Do not doubt, but believe. Thomas answered him, My Lord and my God. Jesus said to him, Have you believed because you have seen me? Blessed are those who have not seen and yet have come to believe. Now, Jesus did many signs in the presence of his disciples, which are not written in this book. But these are written, so that you may come to believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that through believing you may have life in his name. Oto słowo Pańskie, chwała. Once again, thank you to all of you for making the Feast of Divine Mercy very nicely, a very important. You see the picture of Divine Mercy in front of you. I would like to tell you a few words about how this kind of divine mercy started. Mercy 
is with us, with people from the beginning. When God too told to our first parents, Adam and Eve, you are not longer able to stay in, in the garden because you did something wrong. Now you have to go and work for heaven. You will be working very hard to come back here. And from that moment on, God promised us, my mercy will be always with you. You have Noah. God saw the people, God saw us as we are not good. And he sent the water. Only Noah and his family survived. And after that, when Noah survived, God promised, I will never do the same. Because he's always loving us. He's always for us. And in 20th century, he chose Helena Kowalska. She was born in Poland in Głogowiec on August 25th, 1905, into a family of 10 children. At a young age, she was called into religious life after seeing a vision of suffering Christ. Her parents, especially her father, told her, you are not going to be religion sister. You have to work for your brothers and sisters. But God was stronger. In 1925, at the age of 20, she was accepted and joined the Sisters of Our Lady of Mercy. And for the first time, she was called Faustina. You will be no longer Helena from now because you joined the congregation. Your name is Faustina. That's how we know her as Faustina. When Sister Faustina lived in Krakow, her job was at the convent gate. She was opening and closing the gate. People were coming, going. That was her job. And on one rainy, cold day, a young man in poor clothes came to the gate. He had no shoes. He was walking barefoot. And he asked for something to eat. And when she gave him a bowl of soup, she suddenly realized he was not a poor man at all, but Jesus himself. And she was very surprised by this. And then Jesus told her that he came down from heaven because he wanted to experience that mercy himself. In 1931, Jesus appeared to Sister Faustina and asked her to paint his image, mirroring how he appeared to her. That image is today known as Jesus of Divine Mercy and traditionally bears the inscription, inscription, Jesus, I trust in you. In Polish, Jezu ufam Tobie. That's the picture, how Faustina saw Jesus. In the image, Jesus' right hand is raised as if giving us absolution, as priest is giving. He is ready to absolve our sins. That's the meaning of his hand. While his left hand is on his chest, 
with a red and white ray pouring out of his chest. The red symbolizes blood, while the white is symbolic of water. As Sister Faustina wrote in her diaries, in which she recounted her vision of Jesus, water makes the soul righteous, while blood is the life of the soul. Anita, The first image of divine mercy was painted under Sister, Sister Faustina's supervision by Eugeniusz Kazimirowski in 1934. He wasn't Catholic. A few times he was throwing the stuff which was painting out. With her, I'm not going to work. She's changing everything, the pictures. But eventually, he did it. That same year, Jesus appeared to Sister Faustina with a prayer that he wanted everyone to pray. That prayer we prayed before Mass. That's the chaplet of divine mercy. That's the prayer which Jesus gave to Sister Faustina. Pray this prayer. Sister Faustina told of Jesus' message to her confessor, Father Michał Sopoczko, who is credited with facilitating the spread of the divine mercy image and the chaplet. If you're going for the diary for her life, that was very funny. When she came to his spiritual director, Father Sopochko, he was the professor of philosophy. When he confessed first time her sins after that, he told me, Father, Jesus, show me your picture. I know who you are. And Father Sopochko looked, excuse me? You know what he did? He went to Mother Superior and told her, I don't, I, I'm not going to confess her without the paper from the doctor, she's okay here. <laughs> That's the reality. Because Jesus told you, you will see me. And after, when a mother superior sent her for the, uh, for the test, when the paper came, she's okay, he took her very seriously. By 1935, the image of divine mercy was publicly venerated at the conclusion of the Jubilee Year of Redemption, April 28, 1935. This helped fulfill Jesus' image, Jesus' message to Sister Faustina that those who venerate the divine mercy image will not perish. Sadly, Sister Faustina's health started to fail just three years later, but while on her deathbed, Father Sopochko brought her good news that the first holy cards with the divine mercy image had been printed and accepted by the Vatican. A few days later, October 5th, 1938, Sister Faustina died of tuberculosis at the age of 33. Age of 33. Do you remember who died of age 33? Jesus. That's right. If you're going through her life, everything starts to make sense. Everything is important. At the same time, 
Jesus' message to Sister Faustina of Divine Mercy started to spread around the world, which led to misinterpretations of the messages as recorded in the diary kept by Sister Faustina. Due to these inconsistencies, in 1959, the Vatican issued the notification banning the spread of devotion to divine mercy as given by Sister Faustina. From 1959, talking about divine mercy was prohibited by Vatican. However, six years later, Cardinal Karol Wojtyła from Kraków started to read Sister Faustina's diary and declared that the diary could not have possibly been written by someone with only two years of education alone. This revelation led to a two-year informative process of Sister Faustina's life and virtues being opened, which was encouraged by Cardinal Ottaviani. At that time, he was the prefect of the Holy Office. In September 1967, the informative process closed. The evidence that came out of that process prompted then Cardinal Wojtyła to send acts to Rome and in 1968 the beatification process for Sister Faustina began. In the beginning of 1978, 19 years after the Vatican issued the notification banning images of divine mercy, it was rescinded. That was spring 1978. In October 16 of the same year, the Polish Cardinal, Karol Wojtyła, is elected as a pope. And he is taking the name of John Paul II. He issued, two years later, his first encyclical on the divine mercy, which reflected the messages from Jesus to Sister Faustina that were documented by her in her diary. 12 years later, 1992, a miracle through the intercession of Sister Faustina was accepted in Rome on April, April in 1992. One year later, Sister Faustina was beatified in Rome on the second Sunday of Easter. That's today. At that time, that wasn't Divine Mercy Sunday. That was second Sunday of Easter. Eight years later, in the year 2000, on the same Sunday, John Paul II canonized Sister Faustina, making her the first saint of the new millennium. At the same time, he declared that day, the second Sunday of Easter, would be universally established 
and observed as Divine Mercy Sunday. When Jesus appeared to Faustina during her life, he told her, there will be Sunday of Divine Mercy. She was dying. And the Jesus' word? That was not true, what Jesus told her. Seventy years later, John Paul II, it's established the Divine Mercy Sunday. One year later, 2001, Divine Mercy Sunday was officially celebrated for the first time, not by Polish Church, but the Universal Church, fulfilling Jesus' message to Sister Faustina that there shall be a feast day devoted to Divine Mercy. One year later, on April 18, 2002, John Paul II entrusted the whole world to the Divine Mercy from the Divine Mercy Sanctuary in Poland, Kraków Łagiewniki, the site of Sister Faustina's tomb. Pope John Paul II also passed along Jesus' words to, to Sister Faustina. Humanity will not find peace until it turns trustfully to divine mercy. Who refuses to pass the door of my mercy must pass the door of my justice. Three years later, John Paul II died on April 2nd. That was the vigil of divine mercy. Just after a mass commemorating Sister Faustina's canonization had been celebrated at his bedside. Fittingly, Pope John Paul II, canonization mass was also celebrated on Divine Mercy Sunday, the feast that God had directed him to establish. Today, because of Sister Faustina and St. John Paul II, the Chaplet of Divine Mercy is prayed to ensure a peaceful death for the dying. Praying the Chaplet at 3 p.m. daily is a reminder that mercy was opened wide for every soul when Jesus gave himself on the cross for us. The church is beautiful only when he is merciful. God opened the door for us. Forgiveness of sins. We are receiving forgiveness during each confession. But our sins are forgiven. But remission for the sins is on us. But today, if you are going for confession, if your heart is clean even from venial sin, your sins are forgiven. And the remission of your sins are forgiven. That's the core of Divine Mercy Sunday. And thank you for coming, for confessing. God is with you. God is for you. There is a more 
information about Sister Faustina, but I don't want to go further because I think this is enough for today. I wish you all the best and I'm very happy we are together as a church, as the community here at Secret Hearts. Even Milbe is with us today, which I'm very happy. I'm going there each Sunday. They are here with us today. That's nice. That's thank you. May Jesus in his mercy be always with you. If you are going through difficult time, just say, Jesus, I trust in you. Amen. Please stand. I believe in God, the Father. Born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. As we gather to celebrate the mystery of our salvation in Jesus Christ, we trust in his divine mercy and offer our prayers to him. For the Church, that through the inspiration and guidance of the Holy Spirit, we may grow in trust of the risen Christ, who offers compassion, forgiveness, and hope for the future. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For world leaders and missionaries around the world working for peace and reconciliation, May the risen Lord from his ocean of love and mercy grant them wisdom, fortitude, perseverance, and strength to find resolutions to the conflicts, especially in the Holy Land. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For government leaders and civil authorities, that the heart of our Lord guide their efforts and various offices to nurture a just and peaceful future for our country with respect for all human life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For the chronically ill, those in despair, in depression, for the homeless, and for those who care for them, May the sacred blood and water of Christ comfort, transform, and heal them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. That the sacred heart of Jesus, in his divine mercy, guide and protect our parish and parishioners, and renew our commitment and trust to serve you and our community. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For all who have passed from this life, trusting in your divine mercy, our parishioners, family, and friends, may they bask in the light of the risen Lord and gaze upon your sacred heart in all its glory. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers for the prayers and intentions that we hold deep in our heart. We pray to the Lord. Lord for our parish, for the Vietnamese community, 
Korean community, Polish community, and Canadian community. May we be united in the ocean of divine mercy. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord God of light and love, through Sister Faustina, we know of your divine mercy and trust in your divine presence. As you grant us what we need in our lives, may the sacred blood and water cleanse us, strengthen us, and protect us, as we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. As the gifts are prepared, please take up the uh, green book and turn to number 611, 611, take and eat, 611 in the green book.
that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Panie nas Boże, przyjmij dary swojego ludu i sprawa, by wszyscy, którzy otrzymali nowe życie, przez wyznanie wiary i chrzest święty osiągnęli wieczne szczęście. Przez Chrystusa Pana naszego. W górę serca Znaźnijmy je do Pana Dzięki składajmy Panu Bogu naszemu Zaprawdę godne to i sprawiedliwe, słuszne i zbawienne, abyśmy Ciebie, Panie, zawsze sławili, a zwłaszcza w tym czasie uroczyście głosili Twoją chwałę, gdy Chrystus został ofiarowany jako nasza Pascha. Przez Niego synowie światłości rodzą się do wiecznego życia, a bramy nieba otwierają się dla wierzących, on swą śmiercią wybawił nas od śmierci, a Jego zmartwychwstanie jest zadatkiem naszego zmartwychwstania. Dlatego pełnią łask paschalnych. Radują się wszystkie ludy na całej ziemi, również chóry aniołów i zastępy świętych. Śpiewają hymn ku Twojej chwale, nieustannie wołając. Merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant her peace, to guard, unite, and govern her throughout the whole world together with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Gary, our Bishop, and all those who holding to the truth, hand on the Catholic and apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants, all parishioners, and all gathered here, whose faith and devotion are known to you. For them we offer you this sacrifice of praise or they offer it for themselves and all who are dear to them, for the redemption of their souls in hope of health and well-being, and paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true, celebrating the most sacred day of the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ in the flesh, and in communion with those whose memory we venerate especially the glorious ever-Virgin Mary, Mother of our God and Lord, Jesus Christ, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, and all the saints. We ask this through their merits and prayers. In all things, we may be defended by your protecting help. Therefore, Lord, we pray, Graciously accept this oblation of our service, that of your whole family, which we make to you, 
also for those to whom you have been pleased to give, the new birth of water and the Holy Spirit, granting them forgiveness of all their sins under our days in your peace, and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation and counted among the flock of those you have chosen. Be pleased, O God, we pray, to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable, so that it may become for us the body and blood of your be most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, on the day before he was to suffer. He took bread in his holy and venerable hands, and with eyes raised to heaven, to you, O God, his almighty Father, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. Podobnie po wieczerze wziął ten przesławny kielich w swoje święte i czcigodne ręce. Ponownie dzięki Tobie składając, błogosławił i podał swoim uczniom mówiąc. Bierzcie i pijcie z niego wszyscy. To jest bowiem kielich krwi mojej nowego i wiecznego przymierza, która za was i za wielu będzie wylana na odpuszczenie grzechów. To czyńcie na moją pamiątkę. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the blessed Passion, the resurrection from the dead, and the glorious ascension into heaven, of Christ, your Son, our Lord. We, your servants and your holy people, offer to your glorious majesty from the gifts that you have given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance, and to accept them as one you were pleased to accept, the gift of your servant Abel the Just, the sacrifice of Abraham our father in faith, and the offering of your high priest Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer, we ask you, Almighty God, Command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your angel, of your holy angel, to your altar on high, in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us, who through this participation at the altar, receive the most holy body and blood of your Son, may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing. Remember also, Lord, your servants, our parents, friends, benefactors, those whom we promise prayers, who have gone before us with the sign of faith 
and rest in the sleep of peace. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ, a place of refreshment, light, and peace. To us also, your servants, who though sinners, hope in your abundance mercies, graciously great some share and fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, and all your saints. Admit us, we beseech you, into their company, no weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon through Christ our Lord, through whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord. You sanctify them, fill them with life, bless them, and bestow them upon us. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Let us pray together, as our Father taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, Wybaw nas, Panie, od zła wszelkiego i obdasz nasze czasy pokojem. Wspomóż nas swoim miłosierdziem, abyśmy zawsze wolni od grzechu i bezpieczni od wszelkiego zamętu, pełni nadziei oczekiwali przyjścia naszego Zbawiciela, Jezusa Chrystusa. Bo to the kingdom, the power, the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the blood and blood of Christ bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. For those of you who were today at the Mass and received Holy Communion, 
you are allowed to receive communion now. Our communion hymn is in the white book on page 1880, You Are Mine. Oh, oh, oh. 
to 100 in the white book as well. We'll do a slow version of the song. we pray, Almighty God, that our reception of this Paschal Sacrament may have a continuing effect in our minds and hearts through Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you, thank you, thank you, and thank you. It was very nice to be together today on the Feast of Divine Mercy. It's coffee and tea prepared for all of us. 
when we will be leaving the church, there will be uh, not only coffee and tea, you find what else is there and see you there. I prepare a few more prayers, but I think it's enough. <laughs> when it's too much, it's not good. <laughs> That's, I skip for the, for the next time because we are already enough in the church. Really, thank you. I am very happy to my brother and sister Polish and to my brothers and sisters Canadian. We are together and all of you. We have three communities. Korean, Vietnamese, Polish, sorry, four. <laughs> and just when we are together, thanks be to God. That's our goal. We are together. That's what Jesus wants us to be. Because we trust in you, Jesus. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May God, who by the resurrection of his only begotten Son, was pleased to confer on you the gift of redemption and of adoption, give you gladness by his blessing. Amen. May he by whose remedying work you have received the gift of everlasting freedom make you heirs to an eternal inheritance. Amen. And may you who have already risen with Christ in baptism through faith, by living in a right manner on this earth, be united with him in the homeland of heaven. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. And the last remind, a reminder, the Annunciation of the Blessed Virgin Mary was March 25th, but that was Holy Week. And the Church moved the Annunciation for tomorrow. And because of that, I put extra Mass for 12.05. If some of you would like to come tomorrow for the Mass, that's the Mass from Annunciation of our Blessed Virgin Mary. Go in peace, alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God, alleluia, alleluia. Final hymn in the White Book, page 98, the Easter song, 9-8 in the White Book. My Lord, he died. 